Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the Gorilla, Gorilla avatar in your Android engines and make the Gorilla to become the main avatar and also you can make any of the Gorilla to become an NPC in the game. So before we start, you need to have the Icon 7. In the Icon 7, you go to the, the avatar here, go to the template, go to Animal World Volume 4, you will have a Gorilla model. And then in your Icon 7, you need to have the Icon Unreal Life link. At the same time, in your Unreal Engine 4.26, you should be already have the Icon Unreal Life link installed at there. Next, in your Icon 7, you open the Icon Unreal Life link, make sure you untick everything. And you only take the gorilla that selected already. You click transfer the file, and you need to wait in your Unreal Engine here. You wait until it finish transfer, just a few seconds. Now you can see the gorilla already finished transfer. First, it will appear here. Just delete it now. Press delete button. So now you can see you have a gorilla skeleton mesh. But we are not going to use this. So close this. The next step, in your Icon 7, the Gorilla is selected. You have to click Edit in 3D Exchange. Make this Gorilla to be in 3D Exchange. This is an avatar. And next, you look at your right hand side. You must drag it until you can see the motion library is here. In your Icon 7, Go to the contents, go to the motion here. Under the motion, you can see the Animal World Volume 4, Gorilla. All of these are the motion file, what we call the icon motion file. You right click and you find the file. It will open in File Explorer here. So you have to drag into here, drag into the motion library. You open the file explorer that's already open all the gorillas icon motion file. You select everything, drag into this part the motion library, and then you click add all to perform. All will be here. Next, now this one can close. Now you have to open a new folder on, on your desktop, you right click new folder, you name it as Gorilla01. You open that folder and here the Gorilla, you have to export the FBX file. You copy this destination location, Control C to copy and paste it here, Control V, enter. Wait. Wait, uh, this is an arrow, delete everything first and clear the, clear the recycle bin. Now, you click export the FBX file, you copy this folder location, Control C to copy and paste at the destinations. Next, the target tool preset, you have to choose Unreal Engines. The file name, you put it as Gorilla01. Untick the, the include geometry. Sorry, untick the include animations and we want the geometry first. Export it. Okay, now you are you already exported a Gorilla 01, the FBX file. Next, you export again. Choose the, the Unreal Engine target to preset. For this time, you untick exclude geometry. We only want the animations. Make sure these two already tick and you click OK and click OK again. Right, now all of these already exported. All of these are animations. We back to the Unreal Engine, back to the content folder, create create a folder named animals in the content folder, double click in and right click create a new folder again, name it as Gorilla01, enter, double click in the folder. Now, it's the time to import the first one, the Gorilla01, you can see the rest are temporary avatar, we forget to do something. Okay, delete first. We want to name the prefix as Gorilla01. I delete it. In the 3D exchange here, I export it again. The file name, I name it as Gorilla01. 
and I click OK again. OK. Now, all the names should be tally as the Gorilla Zero ones. All of these are animations. You can see the name are tally. In here, the Gorilla Zero ones in Unreal Engine. This is a Gorilla Zero one folder. From the Gorilla Zero one folder, you import in the Gorilla Zero one dot fbx. You drag in, and then here you click Import All and wait for a while. Once you see the message log pop out, means it already finished imported. Now you can see everything already imported. This is a Gorilla Zero One skeletal mesh. First, you double click in to check. Now you can see the texture is no good it's just because of the setting is wrong. You have to go to here Gorilla Default. The Gorilla Default you have to switch to the same file name that as the Gorilla Default, and you can see the trial instance. This is the material instance that we are going to use. Now everything looks normal, and the next one is this one, the zero default. You change it to become same as you can see trial instant so that you won't see all of this. Next. Once done already, done already, you have to click the save and close. Now create a new folder here, right click new folder, name it as animation. Double click in the animations. Next, it's the time to import all the animations like attack, hover, idle, jump, all of this. You drag in. And you must make sure that the skeleton you choose the Gorilla Zero One, the Gorilla Zero One skeletons. The animation length you must choose the animated time, and then here you click Import All, and wait for a while until it finished import everything. Once once finished imported, you can see the message log. You can just close it. Now it's your time to make this avatar to become. Your main avatar make this gorilla to become the main avatar and the NPC refers back to the gorilla 01 folder. Double click the gorilla skeleton. And next what we are going to do is make sure you can open the retarget manager here. And then select the humanoid rig, then you save and close. Next, you go back to the content folder, enter the mannequin folder, go to the character, mesh, double click the mannequin skeletons, open the retarget manager, make sure it is there, and then to make the mannequin to become the humanoid rig as well. This is really important. Next, you click save and close. Next, you back to the mannequin. And the green folder, enter the animation. You should be able to see the third person animation blueprint. You right click it, retarget, retarget, click it. Here you, here you click the Gorilla 01 skeleton and click retarget. Next, you can see this one. You turn it on, this is the navigation of the folder. You can see that your Gorilla 01 animation folder is there. So back to the contents. First you click the click this one. Click the first ones and hold the shift. Click the last ones and drag in into the Gorilla. The Gorilla animations. Gorilla 01 animation. Drag in. Move it there. Now, you go into that folder, the Gorilla, the Gorilla 01 is here. It is inside the animations. Next, what we are going to do is rename the third person animation blueprint. You click here and press F2 to rename it by adding an underscore behind at Gorilla 01. Next, you enter the third person either run, double click in. Okay, double click in. Now, under the Gorilla Zero Ones, you can see the first dots. We are going to drag, drag the Gorilla, Gorilla Zero One Idol. We drag in and replace with, replace to the first dot. Next, the second dot here, we are going to replace by using the Gorilla Zero One Walk. 
And the last one here, we are going to replace by using the Gorilla01 runs, drag and replace it. Next, you click save, and now you can close. Uh, next, you go back to the content folder, go to the third person blueprint here, double click in the blueprint folder, you should be able to see a third person character. You right click, duplicate it, and name it as from the behind you add an underscore gorilla01. Then you double click in, click the mesh, click the viewport. The skeleton mesh here, you change it to become the gorilla01, the, the gorilla01 skeleton mesh. Next, you move it so that it is at the center, so that the capsule is at the center. Now, the animation class, you have to choose the third person animation blueprint, the Gorilla01, this one. Now, it's your time to click compile and close it. Now, change the avatar to become the main avatar. You have to, to click here, edit project setting. And then you go to the maps and modes here. The selected game mode here. The default point class is the main avatar. You, you change it to become the third person character, Gorilla01. Then after that, it, it will automatically save and you just need to close that. Finally, you have to delete the mana queen from the map. And now you try to play and test the game. You can see this gorilla already become the main avatar of the game. Okay. It is really awesome. This is the ori this is the the gorilla avatar in the game. And you really replace the main avatar by using using the third person character. Gorilla01. So next, we can add an NPC inside there. You can just drag the third person character Gorilla01 into here. And then you press E and you can turn it like this. And also, you can go back to the Gorilla's main folder. It is under the content animals Gorilla01. You have the animation folder here. Yeah, let's say I want this this animation, I put it here, like this. Next, I also can have another one, Gorilla Howards, that's here. I can just put a few NPCs in this way. The gorilla attack, pound his own chest. It's okay. Now this one, I delete this. Now we try to test and play to see all these NPCs of the gorilla. Okay, this one is the idol. And this one is attack and now you have one more that is looping that pound his own chest. And all of these are really awesome NPCs and also main avatar. Now you can use this, this gorilla in your game as the main avatar. And that's all for today about how to create a, a gorilla avatar to become the main avatar and also the NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are really helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.